The billion dollar UK e-commerce store Gymshark has recently partnered with Google to build an AI personal trainer chatbot. This chatbot allows users to query specific Google Maps location data, generate workout plans and generate meal plans. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this exact chatbot and better. But we are going to analyze images of meals and tell the user about them. By leveraging these skills, you're going to be able to build advanced chatbots that you can sell to your clients for thousands of dollars. And if you watch until the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get access to 13 plus chatbot and automation templates for completely free. So to get started, this is the voice flow template that you're going to get access to if you watch until the end of this video. This is essentially replicating the entire system that Google built out for Gymshark. This template includes the Google Maps API gym location, as well as the workout plan data, as well as doing GPT-4 vision mule analysis. This is something that they didn't have, but I've added as an upgrade to the existing system. So this is going to be a great way for you to learn how to build these chatbots. And so the first function that I'm going to show you is the Google Maps location data. And so this is where we're going to be able to say, where is the nearest gym? And just by naturally saying this, it's going to identify the function to call and it's going to pull back a series of data from the Google Maps API and it's going to throw up the Google Maps embed. Now we can't see the little map here because we are actually in the voice flow designer. But if we go on uh, an actual deployment of the bot, you will see it. And so you can see here on the screen, uh, this is the exact same bot, but it's actually deployed on a website and you can see the Google Maps embed uh, actually pop up. So I'm going to walk you through quickly how I actually managed to build this. What we're doing here is capturing the question that I have and then we're running this through sort of a question checker. And so my question checker here takes the question that they've asked and it puts it through a set AI and the set AI will essentially just try to identify the question. So you can see here, where is the gym? How far is the gym? And so these series of example questions is what we're going to use to sort of identify where the question should go. And it says, if you identify the user does want to go to the gym, please Apple continue. Otherwise Apple redirect. And so if it says continue, it's going to move on and go over to this section here. And so it's obviously identifying that the user wants this information. It's then going to run a post request to the Google Maps API. And so there's a ton of videos on how to link up the Google Maps API. So I'll link them in the description. But essentially once you've linked up that and added a post request, you're going to be able to get back the series of data. So in this post request, you can see here, destination is the uh, location of the gym and origins is essentially wherever the user is. And so obviously in this system, it's not plugged into an, any actual user base, but if you plugged it into an actual user base and identified the, who the user was when the chatbot initialized, you'd be able to essentially to have their address replaced as the origins. And so whenever they ask this question, it's gonna be relevant to their actual address. But moving on from this, we're just capturing that information uh, and turning it into some variables through JavaScript. And then it moves on to the response AI, which is what you saw in the chatbot demo where it showed the uh, distance as well as the time to get there. And so we're able to take the distance text and duration text and just display that in a response AI. So it just sort of gives the information back to the user relevant to their question with the information that's specific to their actual uh, location data. And then what we're doing is using the an iframe and so in voice flow you can just put an iframe into the text block and it's going to display the google maps embed and so we're able to use the google maps uh, embed api and we're able to just use the iframe to display a maps of a particular location so moving on to the next function of this chatbot essentially we're able to pull specific workout data so in the in the gymshark demo you saw that they were able to ask specific questions about their workout plans and previous sort of just customer profile data and so we're able to target this specifically um, using this sort of function. So if I want to say, what did I train on Monday? We're able to send this information to a specific file. So this is targeting a specific file in the voice flow knowledge base. And it is going to pull back a series of information uh, based on this. So we can see here, it's just pull back this series of information. And so what we did here and what was special about this is that we targeted a specific file within the voice flow knowledge base. So this didn't use any information from all the other files. It just pulled the specific workout plan data. And now for the last function of this build, we're going to be doing a GPT-4 vision meal analysis. So this is something that Google didn't build out for Gymshark, and this is not something that they had included, but I thought there's something that we can take this chatbot even further and make it even more advanced. So we're going to be able to upload or send a picture of an image of a meal, and it's going to look at that image. It's going to analyze it, compare it against our sort of workout data, 
and then it's going to give us an answer depending on the question we had. So whether it was healthy, whether they should eat it or what the ingredients were, we're able to get back all this information just on taking a picture of the meal. So in order to get this working, we do need to use some custom functions from Voice Glow, which is what is going to enable us to actually do the file upload. So I'll just demo that now. If I want to, I want to analyze a meal. It's going to run through that function call and it's going to tell us to please take a photo of our meal. So I've just uploaded a picture of a burger and it's going to analyze that picture. And I can see here, it's given us a pretty detailed analysis of the burger picture that I just sent through. Now, if this was on mobile, you can also just take a picture using your phone and you don't have to upload an image. But you can see here, this is obviously quite a long uh, output of very detailed description of the image, but you can uh, prompt this and change it to do whatever you want, whether you just want to list the ingredients or you want to identify certain factors about the image, you can do that as well. But for here, I've just told it to describe it in detail. But ultimately, that is how you can build out a chatbot that was built out by $2 billion companies in pretty much just a few minutes. So if you want to get access to this exact template and 13 other chatbot and automation templates, you can go ahead and sign up to my free resource hub link in the description. Or if you're a business owner and you want a system like this or something completely different, you can go ahead and book a call through my calendar link in the description.